So for that interface between boards and the executive suites, Marina, what suggestions do you have for people who may be listening? Our audience is executives largely. And how could they use that their boards more effectively, more wisely, more judiciously? Yeah. So I would say one of the one of the sort of lowest hanging fruits is just how do you engage your boards in strategy? And what I've observed is that many executive teams, well, they wait until they have like fully baked strategy proposal to go to their boards. And that's certainly one way to go about it. However, what happens then is that most boards, they feel bad about like shooting that strategy down. Like unless they see any major concerns, they will most probably be supportive. And that sort of closes the door to like getting a more sort of value adding contribution from your board. So what I always advise is like involve your boards earlier on. It doesn't mean that boards will take a hands-on management approach, But I think it's very important to start sort of embracing the approach of like coming to the board with sort of half-baked ideas and having that understanding on both ends that what is being discussed in the boardroom is not a final product and having a common consensus that it's okay that it's not like that because we have this tradition of like everything that goes to the board needs to be perfectly polished and absolutely like final product. But I think if you really want to get more value out of your board in terms of giving you a true strategic direction or maybe opening up your horizons to more opportunities as well as being um, more honest uh, challengers in the process, I think it is much, much easier if you involve them earlier on in your strategy process. 